platforms are a vital part of any tower defense simulator game. They provide you with the money you need to purchase towers and upgrade, so it is important to know how to farm effectively. In this video, I will show you how to farm correctly to get the most amount of money. But before we get into the video, let's check out some tips that will ensure your farming is great. First, join the Paradoxum Games group. This will give you 100 more coins when you start a game. A link for it will be in the description. Second, always wait until the end of the wave before upgrading your forms. This will ensure you will have enough money to upgrade the next level. Third, position your forms in locations where you will not place towers in. However, if you or one of your teammates has DJ, make sure that the forms are placed close to the towers so that you can reduce the cost of both the forms and the towers. And the last tip is that you should never forget about defenses. You should know the key ways for stronger and harder enemies and what upgrade and what powers you will need to get to avoid losing. It's recommended to not over defend and instead get 8 level 5 forms on about wave 24 or 25. Before we get into the stats of the form, let's talk about some of the key statistics that you need to understand about forms. Waves to recap upgrade is the number of waves it will take to earn back the money that you just spent on an upgrade. Total price to income ratio is the total cost of the form divided by the amount of money it generates per wave. And lastly the efficiency of each form level will be measured by dividing the upgrade cost by the additional money produced. This will provide a return on investment metric for each upgrade, which can be used to demeter the most effective upgrade. So now let's see all of the levels of form. First let's start off with level 0. It costs 250 cash to place and it gives 50 cash. Recap that you need to wait 5 waves and its total price to income ratio is 5 to 1, which is not that great compared to other levels of the form. A level 1 form costs 200 and produces double the income of a level 0 form, with total cost to income ratio of 4.5. The upgrade recaps itself in 2 waves and returns its investment in 4 waves. A level 2 form costs 550 cash and produces 150 more cash than a level 1 form. It is one of the most cost efficient levels, recapping the upgrade cost in 3 waves and returning its investment in 3.6 waves. A level 3 form costs twice as much as a level 2 form in total price but produces twice the income. It is a very cost efficient level and it is better to buy one level 3 form than two level 2 forms, as it does not waste the placement limit. The form pays and returns the investment for 4 waves and recaps the upgrade cost in 2 waves. A level 4 form is the least cost efficient level, as it has the lowest return to investment ratio of 10 waves, so you should never spam level 4 forms. A level 5 form is the maximum level and it produces twice as much income than a level 4 form. It costs more than 2 times more than a level 4 form but still costs the income ratio of 6.3. It recaps the upgrade in 4 waves but it's still more efficient than a level 4 form. Now that we've done talking about the stats, let's talk about the main properties you should get when forming. Your first priority in forming should always be getting 8 level 3 forms. You should never spam level 0 forms and get level 2 and 3 forms as much as possible since they are the most cost efficient levels. After you have gotten 8 level 3 forms, you should start upgrading forms 1 by 1 to level 5. However, you should not upgrade your forms further than level 3 if you play hardcore or in any special game mode, since you will get enough money from the enemies. To get all of the forms to level 5 correctly, you should focus on getting level 5 forms one by one and skipping level 4 as much as you can. However, if a wave ends and you only have enough money for a level 4 form, you should still upgrade it to level 4 and upgrade another form to level 5 after the wave starts. After you get all of your forms to level 5, you should start focusing on defenses. To test the efficiency of forming properly, I played the game with two other people. 
One person defended and the other person formed badly. Well, I formed probably using the strategies and the tips in this video. I started by getting 8 level 3 forms and then skip level 4 forms whenever I can. I was able to get all of my forms to level 5 by the beginning of wave 20. Other person formed badly by getting 8 level 0 forms and then upgrading them to level 1, 2 and so on. They were not able to get off the forms to level 5 until the end of wave 23. This test shows that farming properly can give you a significant advantage. By farming efficiently, you can get more money faster which allows you to defend earlier and purchase more powerful towers. In a typical game, farming probably can give you a 15% more efficient farming rate. This means that you can get 1 or 2 more max excel rate was or ranger by the end of the game. If you made it to this point, consider subscribing and sharing this video with lower level friends, as this video took me almost 4 months to make. Thanks for watching and have a good day!